Okay, we're gonna have a look at this uh, surface. This one is, um, it's got a constraint between two dimensions and it's independent of y. Um, we are told, however, that it is in three dimensional space, so we do expect a two dimensional surface. Um, since our surface is independent of y, at any y value, we're just gonna see the same shape. So it doesn't matter that we look at y equals zero or y equals one, we're gonna see the same shape. We'll just work out what that shape is. It's obviously the unit circle. I mean, it's blatantly obvious if we draw the expression out in the uh, x, z plane, we get the unit circle. So if we were to sketch this in the three dimensional, x, y, z. So we're drawing the unit circle in the x, z plane, right? And then at say a different y value, we draw the unit circle again, different y value, we got a unit circle. So this is a cylinder, right? An infinitely long cylinder um, in uh, that lies along the uh, y-axis.